In this video, we are going to see how to add new Slack channel messages to Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So let's say you're using Slack as an online instant social messaging app and you want that every time there is a new message, the same message should be displayed in your Excel sheet. Now for this, you will have to integrate these two applications. Here, this can be done using Public Connect software. Your trigger application would be Slack and your action application would be Microsoft Excel. Now, how would you do this yourself? To show you that, let me take you to my screen. So, to begin with the process, first of all, let's write the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we click on enter, it will take us to the landing page of the software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to sign up by clicking on this tab. It will not take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So since I'm an existing user here, I'm going to click on sign in. And now it has taken me to the All Apps page. Here, since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software, let's click on access now. And now it has taken us to the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see create workflow. I'm going to click on this tab and a dialog box appears, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here our objective is that we have to add new Slack member details to an Excel spreadsheet. So here our objective is to send Slack messages to an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to write Slack to MS Excel integration and now let's click on create so here we have this window where you can see two very important events one is trigger another one is action triggers and actions are basically those two concepts or principles on which this entire automation works trigger says when this happens an action says do this basically action is the response of trigger so here what would be our trigger application it would be slack so let's look for Slack. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. So basically, you know, your workflow will start when this particular event happens. So here I'm going to start with new message. Now let's click on connect. And here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Slack account. For this, we are going to click on add new connection and then connect with Slack. I have already logged into my Slack account here. Now here it is asking to enter the token type as either user or boot. So basically when we have to send messages which may have videos or URLs or images, we use user. So let's click on save here. So once done here, Pabli Connect is requesting permission to access the Slack workspace. So let's click on allow. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now here we'll have to select a channel. For this, I'm going to take you to my Slack account here. So I've already logged in and this is the channel that I've created Slack Excel message. And these are my team members. And let's say that I have written a message. Hello everyone, hope you have a great day ahead. So going back to Pabli Connect here, I'm going to select the channel Slack Excel message and click on save and send test request. So once done here, you can see that we have received the response. This is the message, the last message that we have. And uh, then here you can see this is the ID. This is the user ID. Now, once we have received the message, we have to integrate this application with Excel. So here I'm going to choose my action application as Excel. Let's click. And now once done here, it is asking for the action event. So the action event would be add row to worksheet. What does this mean? This means that every time there's a new message, a new row would be added with the details of that message. So let's click on this and now click on connect. Here again, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Microsoft Excel account so that it can gather the details. I'm going to click on add new connection and connect with Microsoft Excel. I've already logged into my Microsoft Excel account. So here I just have to pick up the account and then provide the access. So here we can see that the authorization has been successful. And now if we come down, it is asking us to map the data. Basically mapping here means that we already have this information stored either in the previous step or it is there and we just have to retrieve it. Now here it is asking for the name of the workbook. So now that it is connected with Excel, so it will show me the names of all the workbooks here. 
Now I'm going to go back to my Excel sheet that I have created. So this is the Excel sheet Slack messages. And here I've got three columns, name, email, and message. Going back to Pabli Connect, I'm going to choose this file Slack messages. So again, now we have to choose the worksheet. So we have chosen our workbook, which is Slack. Now here you can see we have got two worksheets, test and demo, and this one is demo. So again, I'm going to go back and choose the demo worksheet. And now here we have to map the data. So now we have to enter the name, email address and message. We do have the message which we have received from our first step, but we do not have the name and email address. For this, I'm going to add another action step here. Again, my application would be Slack. But this time the action event here would be get user by ID. So I'm going to click on this. So if I show you this message so here you can see this user and this particular number here this is the user id so we are going to retrieve customers name and email address through this id so let's click on connect here let's save the existing connection and now the user id so i'm going to map it this is my user id now let's click on save and send test request so once done here you can see that this is the user's name this is like the real name and then if I come down, here is the user's email ID as well. So now we are going to map this. I'm again going to quickly click on connect so that the connection can be retrieved. So once we have refreshed this page, so the workbook has been, so our workbook is Slack messages, then the worksheet is demo. Let's quickly map the data. So the name would be from our second step, we can get our name, which is ashirite824. Then we have the email address. Again, we are going to repeat the process. And here is our email address. And then finally, the message. We can get it from our first step. And this is the text message. I hope this process is clear. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. As soon as we have done that, here you can see the name, email address, and the message is here. And now I'm going to take you to my Excel sheet, refresh it quickly, and check if we have received the message here. So yes, here you can see the name is here, email address is here, and then the message is also here, which means that this particular integration is totally successful. But now we are going to again check this in real time. So I'm again going to go back to Slack. And let's write another message here. So hello team. We have been given the permission to go ahead with this project. Congratulations. And then let's enter. Now I'm going to go back to my Excel sheet, refresh this page over here. And now here you can see that we haven't received the message. Why? Because if I take you back to Pabli Connect, here you can see this first step. So here it is written that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. Basically, this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes. So if you do not receive your data immediately, do not worry about it. Have some patience because you will receive this data in 10 to 15 minutes. So now let's wait and then we'll come back after 10 minutes and check if we have received the data. So now I'm going to take you back to my Excel sheet and see here we have received the information. So basically, finally, we can understand that this process has been successful. The two applications, Slack and MS Excel, they have got integrated. Now, let me take you back to Pabli Connect and understand quickly what was the process. So here the first trigger application was Slack and the event was new message. Then our action application was Microsoft Excel. The event was add row to worksheet. Here to retrieve the data by ID, we had added another action step. The application was Slack and event was get user by ID. I hope this is very much clear to you. If you have any doubts, you can refer to the workflow. The same workflow is given in the video description. Also, you can clone this workflow and start to process immediately. 
If in case you have any other advice or suggestion or you have any other integration process to be carried on, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.